Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. <laughs> All right, how is everybody doing today? We are ready for a fantastic stream here and a fantastic Pokemon Violet episode. If you're watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you follow us while you're over there on Twitch so we can send you a notification when we go live. And then jump on over to our Facebook and Instagram pages where if you follow us there... <laughs> We'll keep you updated anytime there's a change to the streaming schedule. Let's see, we also have a TikTok and a Twitter. Um, if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us, uh, just search for Unexpectedly Random and uh, you should find our, our Chaos Triad, that feller up there in the top corner. And that's how you'll know it's, it's us. Other than that, I think that's all the housekeeping I have for today. So we can get going here this and this and you know what let me let me try something see if it's gonna make everything really weird or see if it's going to be awesome yeah that looks fun some violet ambiance for our uh, Pokemon Violet stream. This is probably going to kill my eyes, but I love it. It looks great. Alrighty. Let's get going. <laughs> We're rocking the uh, original red and blue Joy-Cons today. Cosmo and Wanda is still over there charging from their last adventure. So those of you watching here on the stream... Wow, it gets really dark when the, uh, when the screen goes dark. <laughs> but those of you watching here on the stream, this will be a very long stream. We'll have an episode of Pokemon here, and we've got to keep it pretty close to that... Uh, um, the 9 p.m. cutoff, so this will probably just be a single episode. We won't split this one anywhere. And then, uh, after that, we will switch over to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and we'll do... We'll probably get a couple of episodes out of that one. Hopefully we can actually take down Va Rudanya. So, so if you're watching after the stream, you can look forward to, uh, those, uh, Legend of Zelda episodes coming out. Uh, within the next, I don't know, a few days probably, depending on when this goes live. Um, so, a little recap. We are currently spinning on ice. Um, we are currently here in front of the, uh, something place gym. Um, Glaciado gym. And we are going to battle, or we have already battled the ice type gym leader for the second round since uh, uh, we must have already battled the ice type gym leader because they're normally right here when we come back so that's cool that means we have two more battles left you know I just realized something with the uh, with this spin if anybody else has made their uh, character spin like this you don't have to keep violently spinning it in order to keep them spinning if you just spin it, and then hold in a direction, they just keep spinning. And then you can spin, of course, to go faster. <laughs> yeah, I'd be dizzy after that, too. Uh, <laughs> so the Glaciato Gem is done. That means we have um, Iono, I believe. That's not the button I wanted. Do, 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 do. Um, because we took out we took out rhyme. Um, or yeah, it's rhyme. So we have Iono, 
at the Levincia gym. And we have the dreaded, uh, the, the, the dreaded hair, hairstyle, the dreaded, I don't know, he's backwards in the picture. <laughs> the, the dreaded, the uh, Larry. <laughs> so we are saving Larry for last because I want to. And uh, for now, we are going to zip over here to Lavincia South. We'll heal up our Pokemon in case they weren't healed last time, and that'll also establish our last location to the Lavincia um, Pokemon Center. And that should... Uh... You know what? The lighting from the, from the screen, this actually looks pretty nice. In all honesty, it's clean, it's crisp. Okay, just, uh, sorry, a little little distracted there. You're up so late, Champion Levi. You here to let your weary Pokemon rest? Yes. Please heal me as well, so I don't have to sleep. <laughs> so we're going to knock out this uh, uh, gym evaluation um, challenge, I guess. And then uh, we might look at some Terra Raids. Charged up my Terra Orb, thank you. Let's see if we need any healing items here, because I think we used a bunch. Uh, 43 and 30... Honestly, I think we're pretty good. How are we on revives? Yeah, we're good. Nothing else. Thank you. Uh, let's ride. Boing. Oh, that wasn't the boing button. That's the boing button. Much boing. Very button. Whee! Whee! Oh, hey, I missed my corner. Awkward. <laughs> you free later today? Well, actually, I've got this deadline. Here we are, back in the electric gym. They can be ready at a moment's notice. I'm an assistant for the gym test. I'm standing by so I can jump in the moment they need me. I'm pretty sure we talked to everybody. Hey! Primera, your eyeballs are mine! Hot in my electroweb! Who's a what's it? Iono! Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. You, wait. You aren't Gita. Uh, it's me, Levi. <laughs> Say what? You just became a champion and you're already out helping La Primera? Weren't you just doing your gym test, like, yesterday? You're really kicking butt out there. Wait, so basically, you're, what you're telling me is that right now is the perfect time for us to collab. Sure, why not? You're already on stream, so... I can see it now. I'll be more popular than ever. <laughs> okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down, friendo. Since you're here to do the inspection for Gita, I'm, I'm going to give you a show you'll never forget. And I don't know about you, but I think it's about time we got down to it. What do you say? Sure, why not? Ooh, I have a Claude Sire. I just realized that. Claude Sire could could really sweep here. Yes, here we go, off to battle land. Which sounds like it's probably a reference to off to never, never, netherland, never, words, neverland, the, the phrase from Peter Pan. Yay. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Welcome to the Iono Zone. It's me, Iono. Um, I have an idea. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna do a thing. Uh, I'm gonna gonna do a thing. Gonna do a thing. Gonna do a thing. Because I've noticed during the loading scenes. There is a dramatic absence of th 
visibility. On the, uh, the, the face side of things. So if we do this. And then I just remember to turn it off. Then that should work. That's that's gonna be slick. That should work. Alright. Today's guest is our brand spanking newest champion, Levi! You've gone viral among the gym leaders, friendo. You're all we're talking about recently. I remember your gym test. Well, it was bzzz, shocking. And this stream's gonna trend like crazy. I sure hope so. <laughs> I can't wait to see those viewer numbers go up, up, up. All right. Here we go. Got that camera set up just how I like it. <laughs> I don't know about you, about you all, but I'm ready to get this battle started. We'll call this stream Gym Leader Iono Battles Like You've Never Seen Before. That's catchy and almost clickbaity. <laughs> Yay! Kilowattroll. Mm, that could render Claude Sire in a difficult situation. Time to put on my serious face. Eyes wide open like a Magnemite so you don't miss a thing. Um, um, ba -bum 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 bum 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 Odds of hitting, 60%. That makes their speed faster. Hey, my thunder hit. That's kind of shocking. How much speedier are your speeds? The stats of a Pokemon and its allies are doubled for four turns. Ooh, this can sting. So that does, does that do all their stats? Because if that's the case, that's kind of OP. Quick attack goes first anyway. Good thing that wasn't an electric. Nice, nice, ruined you. By Kilowattro. Iono's gonna send out Electrode. Will I switch Pokemon? I will switch Pokemon. Because I have Mr. Ground. Mr. Ground makes things electric y void. Go, Floodsire! <laughs> Okay. Ooh, I didn't consider being a lower level than him. Let's quake and hope for speed. We do not, but that's not gonna hurt anything. Everything's shocky. <laughs> Unfortunate news about your electric terrain. It still breaks under an earthquake. <laughs> I'm gonna send out Luxray. Will I switch? I will not, because Luxray is not flying, and therefore not strong against my ground. Aww, how dare you intimidate me. I'm going to Earthquake. That hurts a little. Didn't consider that. Hmm. Okay, so, okay, let's, mm, it's risky, but let's do it. Uh, I was concerned about that, which is really weird because the last, uh, the last time it only did like half, but they had the, uh, the boosted thing. Um, well, here's a dragon. Who is super speedy and uh, 60, 100, 100, 100. Let's get quaked! Haha, <laughs> Luxray is quaking in his boots! Anybody remember the old uh, 
Pokemon Stadium game. Uh, Belly Bolt. He will stay because I've got Ground type. Yeah, but he's also Water type too. I think it's kind of like my Claude side. But yeah, do you guys remember the uh, the announcer from the uh, Pokemon Stadium games? On I think well, the first one was on Nintendo 64. I think the second one was as well. It was it was great, kind of iconic to be honest. Yay! It's a one-hit wonder! The electricity disappeared from the battlefield. Miss Magius. You know, my my brain says, oh wow, that's not electric type, I should switch. But it's going to be electric type. <laughs> hey Levi, quit hogging the limelight and let me shine a bit, yo! <laughs> she's going to uh, terrestrialize and it's going to be great. What is my Terra type? Is it... it must be water type. So we'll stick with Earthquake. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. Be the invention that leads me to victory. Bzz. As long as it doesn't have levitate. Because it is a ghost type, so it might. Oh, oh no, you gotta be kidding me! That's gonna hurt. Oh, that doesn't hurt at all. Okay, well, you know what that means. Um, guess we're gonna do some raging. I thought about terrestrializing. Oh, ouch. Um, I thought about terrestrializing, but I'd be a water type, and that would not be a good matchup for a electric terra type. That was a pretty slick uh, little matchup there. Yay! <laughs> Our brand spanking newest champions, hot stuff. <laughs> yep. I win. This is this is my match. Oh man, I'm not super happy about losing, you know, but <laughs> Look at those viewer numbers. The Iono zones on a roll today. I'm on cloud 9. No. Cloud 10. <laughs> yep. Having someone as popular as you on my stream was a great idea. I'm trending like the inter internet's mad at me. Well, as they say, publicity is publicity, whether it's good or bad. We should collab like this regularly. Don't go appearing on any other channels, though. Um, I got some news for ya. <laughs> Alright, I don't know about you, but I'm done. Tell La Primera what a sensation I was, okay? Your eyeballs are mine! Caught in my electroweb! Who's a what's it? Iono! Signing off! <laughs> See, that's kind of a fun, uh, fun picture there. Yeah, that's a lot better. You can still kind of see me, at least, in the, uh, loading s scenes. Okay. You know what this means, right? We are down to our last... Our last final battle with the one, the only, Larry. <laughs> so... You know, there's there's stairs here that I don't think I checked before when I was here. Ah, oh, look at that. Items. Ultra Ball. Zoom. Light screen. I want to go in the garage door. 
Okay. Now we're swimming. <laughs> I'm in the spotlight. Just the wrong side of it. Oh, there's another one over here. Electric terrain. That uh, makes, makes sense. <laughs> Experience candy. You want candy? You have to experience it. Zoom. Come on, me. I'm just taking off into the ocean. Ah, Magikarp. Hey there, Magikarp. Hey, Watchroll. A Marini. A Love Disc. Another Marini. Boink. Ooh, candy. A nugget. Hey, watch. Let's go see what this, uh... Dolphins. Is it a dolphin? This, uh, terrestrialized sparkly thing is. Uh, it's a Marini. Or, a, no, it's a Toxapex. Yikes, Gyarados. No, thank you. We fought a couple of those previously. They weren't actually too bad, to be totally honest. Okie dokie. I think we can... We can probably fast travel. Or f fly, I guess. As it's, uh... Known in these games. Hmm, interesting. That's not the button I wanted. Okie dokie. Off to the Medali Gym. I'm a little concerned. We've not had good luck against uh, Larry in the past. Yes, please. I don't think I have anything specifically very effective against normal type. The electrode looked really big on the map. Oh, isn't there the guy that collects uh, the things that he wants to do the stuff? I know that was incredibly bad. This town is an important hub here in Pavia. Lots of people from other places come through, so naturally lots of restaurants have popped up. Take that. There is supposed to be a janitor. Maybe this guy? Ah, yes. Lately, I found a coin or two lying around. Perhaps folks have more than they can hold on to. What? What? Why, why are you yellow like you have something to tell me? <laughs> Alrighty. Time to take on the Larry. Living like Larry. It's time for a meeting with the boss, but seems I've got a visitor with no important appointment instead. This is absolutely something she'd do. No, no, I understand everything, I assure you. It's much appreciated. Oh, of course, it's no problem. 
The Primera is my boss, so I, I have to do as she says. But now she's ordering students around? <laughs> oh, I guess we're explaining all the backstory. I see, so you're helping the boss free up some time to enter a tournament at the Academy. Well, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. I'd never let myself get roped in like that. Well, let's knock this task off our list then. No use wasting time, shall we? Yes. Let's head to the treasury tree then. Do 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 do. Hmm. You already faced me during the elite test, so I doubt this will leave much of an impression on you. In any case, let's get started, shall we? I'll be facing you in my role as a gym leader, so I'm going to use my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normal as in plain, average, unremarkable, run-of-the-mill, also one of the only sets of Pokemon that were able to completely destroy me the first time I came in here. <laughs> Pretty fond of them, you know? They suit me perfectly. I'm about as ordinary as you can get. People, Pokemon, there's no need to overcomplicate things. Nowadays, people only seem to want a shock factor. Something weird, something bizarre. At the end of the day, though, nothing beats the relief of coming home, even after a fun vacation. When all's said and done, simplicity is strongest. Bloink. You're challenged by gym leader Larry. Oink alone. Not oink alone. The boss takes some time getting used to, you know. You've got your work cut out for you. All right. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's try thunder. Here, let's go. Yay! Shocky. Paralysis? Nope. Ooh, that made paralysis, though. <laughs> Wrong direction, but that'll work. Because the body slam sometimes can cause paralysis, but I think Pikachu is immune to paralysis. I'm not sure. Three in a row. You're doing good, Pika. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Psych! <laughs> Alright, let's not push our luck here. Let's go ahead and use one with 100 accuracy. Clean up the Oink Cologne. You know, if it evolved again, it would have to be oink together. <laughs> Dead on sparse? No way! Yeah, we're gonna switch. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Do we have anything that's good? Yes, we have lots that are good. Let's, uh, mm, what do we have? That's a bigger question. Let's try Meow Scarada just for the bulk. Da dun spars. Okay. Let's go leaf storm, I suppose. Since they're all equally effective. We definitely have the speed advantage. Ooh, harsh. Forgot about that. That's gonna stink. Not bad, though. Are they all special type? No, these are all physical types. So, since that dropped our special attack, let's go ahead and do Flower Trick, take the critical hit. Boink! Well, we're not doing nearly as bad with uh, this bout with with Larry than that I thought I was going to. Braviary, flying type. Mm, that's gonna that's gonna hurt my little friend. Um, eh, we'll stay. We'll see if we can just tank it. 
Because if it's got Aerial Ace or Brave Bird, it's going to sting a bit. Okay. Yeah, that. Uh -huh. Should have a recoil, though. Let's go Glaceon. Glaceon is wonderfully effective. Also has a fantastic tendency to evade. Freeze up, bird. Komala. We'll stay. I mean, nothing's really going to be an ideal situation. Um, 65, we're probably faster than it. Let's try Blizzard. Nope. Don't go making me sleepy. It's not acceptable. That'll work. Good, solid blizzard. Give me a freeze? Nope. Boink. Nap time. Well. Just recoiled yourself into a loss. We'll stay. You're just plain strong, aren't you? But I always output my best results when it's crunch time. Star Raptor. Hopefully, we can wake up. Time to show what we can really do. Some good work as always, please. It's Terra time! Hmm. Wow. Close combat is a fighting type move. Hmm. Let's try this one, maybe. We should have it on speed. We'll just see if this is uh, strong enough. Because as Pathra seems to have really high speed stats, at least in most of the previous matchups, it has. Nope. Ouch. That recoil is good. Nice. Good work. Mm -hmm. Womp. A third serving of defeat, huh? I like the money. I, I really do. I appreciate it. It's so delightfully money delicious. You're a bit too much for an average Joe like me to handle. But I think I understand now. She definitely recorded that. <laughs> From her response there. 
<laughs> Why I was told to use flying types when I battle as a member of the Elite Four, I mean. There's scenery you'll never even notice if you stick to flat, well-trodden paths. It'll do me good to admire talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, if the boss says I should do so, I'll do so. She won't catch me doing it for fun, though. In any case, I've been strictly told to cut down on my overtime hours, so I'll call it a day. Okay. Let's go out here, heal everybody up, because I don't know what's coming next. Probably a... Oh, I thought for sure it'd be a phone call from, uh, Nimona wanting to meet me somewhere right away, an emergency or something, and she'd want to battle. Let's go, uh, patch everybody up. Morning, Champion Levi. Here to let your precious Pokemon rest? Yep. <laughs> it's quite the team we've got there. Okay, now we're going here. We're gonna save, make sure it's all happy. Oh, that's right, I was gonna get the DLC before today. Oops. We'll probably have it before next week. Uh, that's not the button I wanted. That's not either. <laughs> Do I go back to the school now? Oh, there's one more. Oh, man. I forgot about Brassius. The grass type leader. That would explain why nothing has changed. Well, so much for doing uh, Larry's battle last. Can't fix it now, I've already saved. Alright, talk to you, because I didn't plan on showing up here. All good to go. Okay. It's an Oricorio. Boing. Artisan. Artazon. Artazon. Artazoni. Look at this sun flora. It looks like a statue. This is where I said to meet. And <laughs> let's meet the weird sculpture. What's taking her so long? Presumably, she's at another weird sculpture, most likely on the other side of town. Oops, I missed my corner. Yeah, like at this one. The harvest, a work by Brassius. Boing. Okie dokie. Avant-garde. You are Levi, no? You are the artist, Levi Guard. <laughs> it's the champion, actually. That is of no consequence. <laughs> Each time I recall our artistic battle, I found myself wishing to face you once again. I am so very glad that you are here. Praise Mother Nature. I had planned to meet with the top champion today, but I have now just cancelled that plan. 
He looks uh, kind of kind of crazy. Set that blank stare and just. <laughs> he reminds me slightly of uh, uh, Ma Majima from uh, Lee Course Recoil. Then he's even got the green hair to match too. <laughs> Shall we instead talk of art together? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gave me the cho top champion instead? Well, I cannot be bothered by that. I don't care what the reason is. If we can make a masterpiece together once more, then fine. Well then, Levi, are you ready to open wide a door to the world of art? Hey, yes, just please stop staring at me like that. <laughs> Avant-garde. Very well then, let us head to my studio. It looked like he was holding a whirly peed. Behold, Levi, the sight of Artisan's windmill. It's both windy and milly. It catches the winds that blow across Paldea and slowly yet powerfully spins ever on. My leaping down from that windmill to appear before before those who would challenge my gym lends an added depth to our battles. I see. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I knew you would understand my reasoning, Levi. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what that thing on his left side there is. It's like some kind of a wheel or maybe a garden hose, but it looks like it's styled after a whirly peed. It's raining on me now. Though I believe I can spare my legs today, as we are sure to create my greatest masterpiece yet. Even if I do not alight from above. But I digress. We are both artists, are we not? We have no further use for words now. I assume you are ready. Let our collaborative work of art begin. That's fine, but don't stream it, because Iono's got, uh, exclusive rights. <laughs> You're challenged by Gym Leader Brassies. It's a, it's a, a whip of some kind? I don't know. Let us ponder the art we will create together, Levi. Uh, I have never fought a Lilligant. Interesting. Let's try it for some thunder. Zap. Well, that's problematic. Night screen. Special moves. Okay. Oh, that's right. You're grass type, so you're weak to this. Zoom! <laughs> you can quiver all you want. It's not going to help. Because this should be... Nice. He sped up to uh, Quiver Dance. Special defense. I think Fly is a physical attack. Uh, yeah, let's just try this. Oh, that's gonna sting. Wow! That hurt, and that wasn't even super... Oh, because it boosted and boosted. Right, right. Okay. Ground's weak. I would like to say that ice is strong against it, but I don't know. Its speed's going to be ramped up through the roof. Well, obviously it's going to try a special move, so... How dumb. That would have been a free attack. What is wrong with me? I should have known that Hyper Beam had to recharge. Let's try this. Ooh, tank it, please. Nice! Double it and send it back. <laughs> I mean, obviously it didn't have the space to double it and send it back, but, uh... S 
Sarina. Hmm, guess what? It's gonna get cold in here. <laughs> One still raring to go, but the opponent appears beat. Sorry, that's another line from uh, uh, the announcer on Pokemon Stadium. Send out Arboliva. Arbol... Arboliva. Arboliva. Arboliva? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming the emphasis is, a, is on Arbol, which is... Uh, tree in... Spanish? But it's also going to be an evolution of small liv because it's olive, oliva, oliva, arboliva. I don't know. We'll uh, freeze it. Let's see. Evolution of small liv. Um, Blizzard. Yes! Don't let your olives get stuck in the snow. Yay! What? 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 Why did? Huh? What? <laughs> why? Did, why did my health restore? No, I, I need to. I need to figure this out. Pokemon on the ground, okay. Interesting. That's kind of fascinating that there's more effects that the terrain stuff actually does, rather than just boosting uh, moves of the same type. Um, let's not push our luck. Let's uh, Terrestrialize and Ice Beam. <laughs> Popsicle mushroom. That does not sound good at all. Mushroom popsicles. Pseudo Wudo, we will stay. Aww. This works concept is the deep rooting nature of plants. A briar's thorns are not easily removed. Oh no, it's rock type. Whatever will we do? I do hope this work lives up to my expectations. I shall call it Truly Wudo Plute 2. <laughs> Poor tree. I don't think he even knew what he had in store. Oh, he survived it. Oh, because he's got sturdy. Nice work. That's going to sting. <laughs> You did good, Glaceon. You did good. Oh, yeah. It's grassy terrain. Ooh. Yeah, let's take this guy. This is still raring to go, but the opponent appears beat. <laughs> it's more fitting here because the opponent appears... Yeah. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mega horn, sludge wave. Sludge wave is actually, well, I guess it's not stronger, but I'm not really needing strong, I'm needing accurate. So let's go sludge wave. Ooh. Nah, no big. Sludge. Lord, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine, guard. 
Okay, I know I said he looked crazy before. He's definitely crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing you in the midst of battle, you are like a unique gradient, subtly changing hues. Riotous and yet gentle, such contrast. I lack the words to express it. My hat goes off to you. And you're doing that. <laughs> you're doing that face again. Please stop. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> My battles with you are truly a gift. Each time I am made to remember how I felt so long ago when I first ventured into this world of art. Ah, I almost forgot. You were here for the gym inspection in the top champion's stead, correct? Well, that's of no consequence. Report on my gym here as you see fit. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Yay. Now Nimona's going to call me. <laughs> Somebody's calling me at least. Hello? Am I, am I speaking to Champion Levi? This is Gita. How is your inspection of the gyms going? Uh, how did you get my number? How did you get my number? How did it, I, I want to know. I, I, I want her to tell me that Nimona gave it to her because I'm sure that's what uh, what's probably going to happen here. Uh, <laughs> I'm the head of the organization. I have the addresses and contact information of every champion rank trainer. Oh, that's no fun. I was informed by each of the gym leaders that uh, you stopped by to see them. I knew giving you this task was the right decision, Champion Levi. All of them seem quite happy for the opportunity to battle you. Now I would like the inspection report from you in person. Join me at the academy in the entrance hall. I will be waiting for you there. Well, I was kind of looking for a for a phone call from Nimona, but I guess. You can spin so fast. <laughs> well, we're already basically an hour in. That's crazy. Okay, not that button. Not that one. This button. Let's zoom on over here to this place. And then we'll heal in case Gita wants to attack us. Oh, we've got the champion challenge thing coming up. Mm, that's unfortunate. We're trying to unlock six and seven star terror raids. That's something that we need to be doing because we've missed out on several event Pokemon because of that. Because we just weren't there. This is a nice crew. I, I like them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Time to go. It's a lemon tree. No scurvy here. Oh, boing. Oh, that's not the boing button. This is the boing button. You failed me. You have failed me, Miraidon. Hold on. There is a ladder. I like ladders. Can't ride me right on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, just wait and see. Boink. This is fun. Electro Ball. 
Yeah. Boing. Yeah. Now who's riding me right on here? Because this sure looks like the place you said I couldn't ride it. Boing. Just thinking after, yeah, that's what I thought. After seeing that uh, item there, there's probably more out this way. Boing, boing. And there's probably some on that side too. <laughs> And there's not really any easy way to get there unless I can jump across from over here. Which I might be able to. Oh yeah. Look at that skill. There are his things over here. Slurp. A silver bottle cap. Thing here. I'm not sure what that was. Oops. It was a TM. Start with an A. Might be a red dot on it. Air slash. I think that was it. Cool. If it was cool, if it wasn't, it's still cool. Whatever it was. <laughs> Jump. Super floaty. So I noticed a little thing over here. There's platforms connecting these uh, these buildings. Which means presumably there's a way to get up on one of them. Right there. I do not really want to fall behind there. <laughs> you too. I didn't want to talk to S S Swablu. I wanted to talk to the, to the kid. Stop it. Are you also the type that likes to chill out on rooftops? Well, make sure you don't fall off jokes on you. I'm the type that likes to fall off from rooftops. Haha. -ha. Okay. Interesting. It's a bit of a shortcut to whatever this side is. The fountain. Get them while they're fresh. Foods and snacks and snacks and foods and stuff. I was just kind of looking to see if there were any of the black 
six star raids. But I do not see any. second there I thought that I had forgotten to heal. This is a famous torturously long staircase of the academy. Not an easy climb is it? It's not too bad when you've got a bike. Into the entrance hall. Okay. Good day, Champion Levi. Now tell me, what do you think of our entrance hall? Do you enjoy being surrounded by books? Uh, not really my thing, but I love it. <laughs> That's good to hear. It was renovated a few years ago, and I was the one who came up with the new design. But more importantly, I would very much like to hear your report on the gym leaders. Ah, now that I think about it, this location is perhaps a little too public. <laughs> Do you know of anywhere quiet where we might be able to discuss things a bit more discreetly? Um, concerned? <laughs> no. <laughs> so this is the dorm room where you live. I wonder, is this room what helped nurture your potential as a champion? Um, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. I mean, not really. Ah, wait, I remember now. You only recently moved into the dormitories. In the near future, perhaps I'll pay your family's home a visit, if I may. Yikes. Anyway, let us get to the topic at hand. I would very much like to hear your report now that you've inspected the gym leaders. Tell me, which gym leader did you feel was easiest to face in battle? Um... I don't remember yesterday's. Somebody that was probably... Probably Kofu, actually, because... I don't remember. Nah, we'll we'll throw Crazy Brassius under the bus. <laughs> Brassius? Fascinating. Next, which gym leader left the strongest impression on you? Um Strongest impression. That's probably Iono. She was very she was very out there and and kind of kind of crazy but in a relatable way <laughs> oh i own know then which gym leader gave you the most trouble during battle um Larry was pretty easy this time Maybe Grusha? I think that was the... Rhyme was the... Ice type? No, Rhyme was the... The one before the ice type. Grusha was the ice type, I believe. Yeah. Grusha, you say? Next is the last, most important question. Which gym leader did you like the most? Well... I mean... Ain't you, it's, isn't that very... Speci I mean, what? 
<laughs> um, I don't remember. I don't remember, Katie. I should probably remember. These, uh... Okay, Katie was the gym leader of Cortando Gym, the bug type. Um, Brassius is the grass type. Iono is the electric type. Kofu is the water type. Larry was normal. Rhyme is the ghost type. That's what Rhyme was. Tulip is the psychic type. Grusha is the ice type. We're right there. And is that all of them? Hmm. So I'm thinking either either Larry, you know, because we we've, we've got the connection there from getting destroyed by him initially and then recovering. Um possibly Kofu because the the quest where we had to go retrieve his wallet, take it to him and and that stuff. That was kind of a kind of a neat connection sort of quest. And, or Iono, because, I mean, she's a streamer, I'm a streamer, um, there's definitely a connection there. Or possibly Grusha, because I'm a big fan of the cold. So, hmm. Let's go with Iono. Cause that's the that's the because she's a streamer as well i think that's a that's a good fit and those are all the questions i have thank you very much for your help on this your perspective was fascinating champion levi i have no doubt it will assist me when running the organization please accept this as thanks yeah hey king's rock i can not evolve whatever it evolves because you have to trade it to evolve it <laughs> put the king's rock in your bags other item pocket but it also does that so that's a that's a good kind of useful thing too thanks to you my schedule has cleared up quite significantly so i will most definitely be joining the tournament we discussed in the director's office i'm sure champion demona will be pleased too well, thanks for letting me visit. I should get back to work now. You must be tired. I suggest you take it easy the rest of the day. <laughs> you should rest for today. Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Wow, I slept for an entire week. I must have been tired. Thanks to Nimona's pushing and a bit of cooperation from the Pokemon League, the day finally arrived for the great Pokemon battle competition to be held. Yay, I'm so excited. I can't stand still. There we go. Speedy spin! Church. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Nimona. Hey, Levi. I'm so glad we just managed to get everything ready for the A Academy Ace Tournament. Oh yeah, that's what we decided to officially name the tournament. It's a good name, right? Fitting, memorable. But then Arvin went and said we should call it the School Battle Brawl. 
And then even director Clavel got into calling it that, so now I'm just like, ah. <laughs> anyway, how you feeling, Levi? In the mindset to do some winning? Of course. Cause all I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> There's that enthusiasm. Show us what a champion's made of. It's so cool that La Primera is going to make a guest appearance thanks to your hard work. I wish I didn't have my hands full with all the besides behind the scenes admin stuff. I won't even get to do any battling myself. What? That seems mega unfair. But I'll seize the chance to do some objective research into what makes you so good. Anyway, let's get going. I'll meet you at the front desk in the entrance hall. No stalling. <laughs> okay, nap time. <laughs> yes. I didn't think it actually let me do that. Yay! Head to the entrance hall. Let's go anywhere else. I am here. Standing in the room. There you are, Levi. You've got to go through the application process with a staffer before you can actually participate in the tournament. Ready for that explanation now, mister? He looks like a tiny Turo. Alright, the rules of the a Academy Ace Tournament are as follows. Any student or faculty member... Any student or faculty member of the Academy may enter. Your opponents will be random, and only winners will advance to the next round. Opponents will be matched by lottery, and the lottery is run by the people in charge. That means you'll have no idea who you'll be facing until you meet them on the battle court. Winners, as I said, will get to advance to the next round. But lose once and you're knocked out. No more battles for you after that. The last trainer standing, the only person to win all their matches, will be deemed the best of all the Academy's ace. <laughs> Thanks very much! We hashed out the tournament rules with help from Director Clavel. Based on the number of entrants so far, you'd probably have to win four times to take it all. Don't forget, you might go up against the faculty too. They're tough stuff. So good luck, and go be desert. Even tougher. <laughs> See Psyduck in the background? Do your little dance again, Psyduck. There you go. <laughs> uh. The only person allowed to beat you is me! Please talk to me when you're ready to take part. Uh, well, I'll have to beat the Ace Tournament before I can unlock the raid, so I guess that's what we're doing. We've got about half an hour left. We should be able to take this on, maybe, perhaps, by then. Hello there. Would you like to enter the Academy Ace Tournament? Yes. Master Levi, a champion rank trainer, right? Yes, indeed. All right. Okay, you're all registered as a contestant. Please head down to the battle court. We zoom in. You know, I actually kind of like the purple, uh, purple light going here. Lots of people. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. It's super sad that Nimona doesn't get to participate. She basically set the whole thing up. 
some of you will certainly have heard the happy news. We have a new champion here at Uva Academy. Whoosh. Yes, none other than our very own Master Leva. <laughs> For real? That's amazing! Bien hecho, muchacho! Ooh, way to go, champ! <laughs> it gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the Academy. <laughs> Today's tournament was organized by your student council president, Miss Nimona, in celebration of her friend's accomplishment. Aw, how sweet! I invite all of you here to see for yourselves the impressive strength of our new champion. You're all about to get destroyed! <laughs> Not to mention the talents of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And, of course, the superb battle prowess and acumen of our esteemed faculty. Now, without further ado, let the Academy Ace Tournament, our school battle brawl, begin! He did the Clive thing with his hair. You saw that, right? Alright, let's jump into the first round. Everyone, who will the fates pair up today? Champion Levi will be facing... The leader of all of everything, Gita! Ah, oh, it's Arvin. <laughs> From Class 2G. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I'm against my little champion buddy right from the first round. So how about it, Levi? Bet you're surprised to see me in this tournament, right? No. Wait, you actually thought I would sign up for this thing? Boy, I guess you really do get me. No wonder we're best buds. See, when we went down to Area Zero, it really drove home from, for me how I need to get stronger. So I've been off doing some special super serious training with Mabostiff and my team. If we ever end up in trouble again, I want to be there fighting beside you, on the same level. So today, I'm here to win, even if it might only be by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this. Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, my announcer voice was uh, starting to manifest itself a bit there. Ingredient. Yeah. This is going to hurt, isn't it? I want you and me to be on the same level, so I'm going after this win without holding back. 67 to 72. Not bad. Let's go thunder. Thunder. Da -da thunder. 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 Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ground on electric. Yep. Ugh. Isn't it normal type? So I've got nothing that's terribly exciting. Do I have something that's flying? No. A Pikachu if I terra terrestrialized. I don't even know. Ground... Grass should be super effective against ground. But I don't know if he's got a counter for dark. Lowers the target attack. I definitely have the speed. There we go. Put that greed in the way. Sco villain. <laughs> it's a fire type. Well, it's a fire grass, which means it's strong against ground. I think it's grass. Uh, Garchomp's got a water type attack. But if it's grass, it's not gonna matter. And let's just stay and see what happens. We may be able to just tank it. 
Yeah, that's not gonna go well. Chomp, look for the flinch. Ooh, nice hit. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yikes. Well, at least it didn't burn us. And on the bright side, we should have it in speed, so we should be able to drop it with a bite. Yeah. You've been harvested, go villain! Leveled up that Garchomp. Go to school. Is electric, I think. Ground, fairy, something. Let's stay because we'll have the speed. Okay, they're all equally effective. We should have the speed, so let's go ahead and do Leaf Storm, even though we'll take a hit to our uh, special attack. Nice. Nice. I didn't expect that to faint him, but that's pretty good. Okay, what's he got now? Garganacle. 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 That is. It's the evolution of assault, Knackley. Um, I think that's ground type. Let's stay. Garganical. It might be something else type, and that would be bad. Nope, it's definitely ground type. Let's hit it with the leaf storm. I don't hope that the super effectiveness. Oh, it did not over override the special attack dropping. We're done. Or we dodge it. Yes! Okay, we'll go with the physical attack that will crit, which is a, at this point a guaranteed finisher. Garganical! Oyster, water type. Grass is strong. Let's stay. It might also be poison, though, and in that case it would not be... Yeah, we're good. Um, let's stick with this. However, we're going to terrestalize. I know I'm low on health, but I want the boost of strength from the terrestalization. Bunk. Nice. Blood Sire leveled up. And we're just slowly hatching up our health. Mabble Stiff is dark type. We'll stay, see what happens. I'm putting everything I've got into this. No regrets allowed. No leftovers after this meal. About that. I have leftovers. Ah, uh, not that. Oh, hey, I have play rough. <laughs> Let's light up this school battle brawl, Mabo Stiff. Bigger than anybody. What is his terror type? I don't remember what his terror type is, and that could be bad because this may not be. It's still dark type. Okay. Wait, he looks like he's the face of the dark terror type emblem. That's gonna be fatal. <laughs> he's totally the face of the emblem. That's kind of great. Also, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Well, let's go with Garchomp because it's probably my fastest as far as speed goes. They're all equally effective, so let's just outrage. There we go. Success. And that's our first uh, match of the Ace Master Tournament. You're so strong and cool. I'm real proud to call you my best friend, you know. 27,000 cash from in. And the winner of this first round battle is Champion Levi! Woo! Alright! That professor's kid put up a heck of a fight! What a spicy star! And that's only the first match! Phew, the strength of a champion is legit! It hurts to lose, but I'm proud of you, little buddy. Maybe I should think about going around to all those gyms myself sometime. You'd better try just as hard as I would have in round two, for me. I'm doing all of this for Nimona because she can't play, or she can't participate. <laughs> Next up is the second round. I'm sure you're ready to hear the matchup, so let's get to it. Champion Levi will be facing... Jack, the biology teacher, and also the guy that made the Pokédex. Hello, hello Levi. I hear you went out on your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. That's quite the achievement. <laughs> I guess I'm the homeroom teacher for two champion rank students now. I won't lie, I'm feeling a wee bit of pressure here. I've got to work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Well then, let's get started, shall we? Who's hoping I do okay? What? Did I not get to heal in between those? Hopefully it healed my team. Jack the Instructor, which is better than Jack the Ripper. Show me what you've got in your own way and at your own pace. Ah, intimidating. See, let's see. It looks like they healed me because I have a full, happy, healthy Pikachu. Let's uh, hit it with a thunder and hope for a. That's gonna miss. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep, that hurt. <sighs> nice, that was a harsh recoil. Did you see that? Let's go with Claude, sire. Is this guy the pure fire type on the RT9 front? So we're gonna quake. That still hurts. That's a harsh attack. Get quaked! Haha! <laughs> Mudsdale, ground type. So we need grass type. It might be a combo mud dark. Or <laughs> ground dark. Let's go flower trick so we can keep our. Uh, Special attack, doing all right. Nice, fatality. Lorantis, that is grass type, and grass type. Claudie boys got a bug type attack, or. We could go ice. Let's go, Claude Sire. Mm, the only thing is they might they might outstrip me in speed because they're going to be about the same level, if not slightly higher. 
Lorantis. Whoa, that was dumb. That was super dumb. Mm, I should switch. I'm not going to, but I should. Because I'm ground type, and ground type's going to be weak against grass type. Weak blade, that'll be fatal. Yep. Mm. Okay. Ice type it is. Go Glaceon. Do your frosty dodgy thing. Okay. Aww. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Let's go Ice Beam for the sake of effectiveness. Because Blizzard's stronger, but uh, nice. Didn't need it. it. It almost sounded like it said, oh no. Slow bro. Poison, poison water, poison water. He could choose down. Poison strong on gas. Grass. Gas. Don't mind me, it's a gas type Pokemon. Um, yeah, we'll go Miascarada. You know the last person that I fight is going to be Gita. It's just, it's going to be obligatory. Um, we'll flower trick. See where that puts us. Oh, yeah, we're good. That was way better than I thought it was going to be. So he must not be poison type, he must be a pure water. Swalot, which is a poison type. Switch. Let's go as Pathra, because I think that's. I think Psychic is strong against poison. But I might have that backwards. Which would not be good. Um, so let's hit it with something heavy. Doodle -doo -doo. Well, it's super effective against whatever it is. No big. We got this in the bag. It's just gonna take an extra move. Bonk. We're gonna have to get through the next uh, two rounds quickly because we can't save in the middle of this. Farigraph is psychic or maybe dark. We'll stay as we are. Wow, you sure are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? Of course, the Pokedex guy would be uh, wanting to know about that. I don't remember if it's dark or fairy type. It must be dark type. It's gonna hurt, I'm sure. Just a little energy, and there you have it. Now watch as my Pokemon terrestrializes. I wonder what Terra type it's gonna use. The eye, that's psychic. not a good matchup. And then it uses a non-psychic move. It stings a bit. Yeah. Okay, this should work. Because we'll have the power of the of Meowskarada's level behind this. And then also a same type attack uh, attack bonus. Yeah, stab bonus. Which is like a GPS satellite. 
Or an ATM machine. Yay. Wow. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you did great. Did I get two sets of prize money for that? That was interesting. Hey, <laughs> you beat me. You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you, Levi? You're more <laughs> for the teaching profession than I am with that boundless confidence of yours. Mr. Jack, did I hear you correctly just now? Uh-oh. Uh, hi, Director. Are you angry with me? <laughs> well, I'm going to go get yelled at. Good luck in the coming battles. <laughs> Finally, only four trainers remain. Time for our contestants to face their third matches. Matchup for this battle will be Champion Levi versus... Dendra, the Battle Studies teacher. Okay, this seems a little unfair. Oh, Sue, new kid! This school battle brawl is for deciding the strongest trainer in the academy, right? Man, I'm so pumped up! There's no better place for me to show off my strengths. And I hear you're the reason we're having this tournament. You have my thanks for that. New kid, no. Champion Levi. As a teacher, I feel like it's my duty to lead my students to success. But, since I am the battle studies teacher here, I can't very well lose in a battle, can I? Well, I mean, you can. <laughs> so don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm going to give it all I got. Well... That's what the last two people said, and look where we are now. You are challenged by Dendra, the instructor. Phalanx. I forget what Phalanx is as far as typing. Let's have a good clean, clean battle, okay? Best of luck. Um, apparently, it's ground or bug type. And that's great, because I'm a fly. <laughs> Zoom. Close combat. <laughs> Doesn't work if they're not close. <laughs> Look what you used to fly. How dare you? That's rude. I want a refund. I want a refund. I want a refund. <laughs> Psychic. And I definitely have the speed advantage. Game over for Phalanx. Halucha, fighting type. Fighting versus Psychic. Brains over Brawn. I think Psychic is super effective against Halucha. I think. Yes. Look at that. Ooh, bug type. Stings a bit, but we should be we should be solid. Please be fatal. Yes. Fatality. Tauros, ground type, normal type. Oh, but not necessarily. Because Paldean Tauros are goofy. Let's. Um, let's go Meowskarada, because we've got the board pretty well covered. On any, unless it's fire type, and in that case, we're going to bail and go Claude Sire. Is there fire type Tauros in Paldea? Yes. <laughs> uh, I guarantee that's a fire type Tauros. Guaranteed. Um, oh wait, I've I've fought one of these before. Yeah, it's it's it's. A, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I like the way its horns light up. Zoom. Not gonna let you destroy my uh, mouse Claude Sire, get out there and tank this fire-type move. Ew. 
Hey, it's okay. Good job. He took down his defense. Which is going to be really fun when we drop him in a hole. That was rude. Ha! Case of your own Medi sign. Medi Cham fighting. Switch to Espathra. Ooh, psychic, not fighting. What was I thinking? Bad matchup, but it's okay. Should have stayed Miascarada. Oh, looky there. As long as we got the speed, we'll Dazzling Gleam. Not fatal, but it'll work. That was fatal. That was pretty harsh for a not very effective. Okay, uh, Miascarada, we'll use our bulk and our speed to play rough. And then hopefully the last thing she's got is Water Type. Do -do -do -do. Play rough is like close combat, but without the negative effects. Tauros. <laughs> We're gonna bank on this being a water type Tauros. Yes! Score! Because it's got the pro propeller butt. Propeller tail. Alright. Battle. This is not the last one, so we're gonna have to fly our trick. Don't want to drop our attack, any. Nice. Now, if the last one is the other Tauros, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Hariyama, fighting. I don't have any psychic. We're gonna stay. You've got real fighting, you new kid. This battle's really stoked my fighting spirit. Which means you've probably got a fighting terra type on this Hariyama. Ooh, guess what? This is super effective. Aim to push past your limits day by day. Oh, suit! <laughs> it's always funny when they struggle with the uh, Terra Orb and, and and I'm all just like, uh, no big deal. Whoosh. Is that, uh, is that Cutie Pie's, uh, icon? <laughs> that may be one of the first times I've seen a fighting ty Terra type. I mean, I should have a, an Eevee that's fighting Terra type, but that's a pretty crazy icon for its for its hat. Play rough. Ba -da 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 -da. Game on. Okay, so we've got one last battle, which is realistically against uh, Gita, because that's how this story is kind of set up. <laughs> I see you've honed your skills, new kid. Oh, so Pokedex has been updated. That's cool. And we are right at time, so we, uh, we'll, we'll get this, this last battle wrapped up. No way, I got crushed. But I still got something great out of this battle. This was a massive chance for me to grow. You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day too. That's why we're always harping on you kids to study. Turns out we actually do know what we're talking about. Thanks for the battle. Keep aiming for the top in this tournament, and don't forget... Osu? 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 I don't know what that means. Presumably it's something in Spanish. There's one last match in this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. See Nimona over there on the side? Right side of the screen. Allow me to introduce the two trainers who will be facing off to finally determine who's strongest in the academy. It's champion Levi against, of course, <laughs> a special guest joining our tournament, the top champion Gita. Good day, champion Levi. I had a feeling we would meet. I would meet you in the finals. Honed strength against honed strength. 
Such a clash is what captures the crowd and makes their hearts race. This is extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As the chairperson for both the Pokemon League and the Academy, I find this situation to be incredibly satisfying. Now if we both push each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, Champion Levi. Our battle will inspire all those who watch us today. Let me show you the full might of the top champion. I'm slightly scared. Just slightly. Just slightly. So if I defeat her again, do I get to be top champion? Okay, Espathra versus Electric Shoot. Let us set an example for everyone, you and I. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, good. 69, nice. It's a little stronger than the previous ones have been. Let's try and get off the thunder. Good, good. Give me the paralysis too. It'd be solid. Nope, Lumina Crash, that's a harsh one. Mm-hmm. Okay, is Claude Sire gonna be a decent match? Eh, bug, otherwise not significantly. Dark. Um, so it's Miascarana. Because the dark dual typing will help resist the psychic attacks. We'll just uh, swing with bite and maybe get a flinch. Or a faint. That's even better. Alright. Good job. Go goat. Go goat? Is that grass type? Go goat. Skiddo and go goat. Um, let's stay for the sake of tank. Another 69. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna hit it with play rough. Um, we have a problem though because it's strong against grass type. Nope, that's not gonna cut it. No, play rough back. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. Can we get a crit? Nope. That's gonna be... F oh, I thought that'd be fatal. Good thing I've got some leftovers. Go ahead and hit it with another play rough. Not bad. Not, not bad. Alright, who's next? Avalug is ice type, is not good. It's not good. What's good against ice? Electric, flying. Um, <laughs> bugs not, but maybe poison type? Let's swap Claude Sire and try. He's gonna be slow. It's the only problem. Well, one of many problems, actually. <laughs> He's only a 67. Yeah, that's definitely ice type. Nothing is much more effective than anything else. Let's Mega Horn, I guess. Please hit. Nope. We're okay. Mega Horn. Impact. Wow. I don't have anything that's actually super effective against him. This would have been probably a fire type that would have been better. Um, I guess our best bet here is going to be to heal.
because where he had the speed, Cloud Sire was going to go down anyway. Because he would have attacked first if we if we tried to attack. Okay, now Skarada for the tank. Let's go... do I terrestrialize? I mean, it might give me a damage boost, so might as well. I don't remember if swapping out a terrestrialized Pokemon voids terrestrialization, or if it just holds it until the end of the battle. Because I know you can't re terrestrialize Even if you will. Uh, swap out or whatever. Uh, it's not really good. Don't paralyze. Okay, good. This might finish it off. I'm lucky. Yes! I knew it was gonna crit, because it always crits. Cool. And we leveled up, too. Veluza is a water poison type. We'll stick with grass. It may just be poison type. Mold breaker. No worries. No mold to break here. Let's go flower trick. Kind of wanted to do uh, the other one, but it wasn't necessary. Um, I didn't know that it wasn't necessary. <laughs> but uh, leaf storm or whatever it is. But with two, still two other Pokemon left, I didn't want to use that. King Gambit. Gambit. King, King Gambit? King Gambit. I don't remember what that is. Um, I don't know. This one's more tankiest here, so... Okay. I know. I don't know right offhand who it. Uh, hmm. Well, I've fought him before. He must be dark type or steel, maybe. Or both. Maybe that is not enough. Kow Tow Klee. Kow Tow Klee? That's the strongest he's got. We might be able to take another one as long as he doesn't crit. Iron Head. Ouch. Okay, not, not the best situation. He's got a couple of super effectives, and he's the same type as his super effectives. Although the dragon type may be weak, which would uh, kind of void any benefit. But we are still 75, which gives a bit of a level advantage. We're gonna quake because it's our strongest. Oh yes, we got the speed too. Yes. Good, good, good. Glimmora. Glimmora. Who do I need for Glimmora? 
don't remember, but we'll make this match a fitting one for the finale. A grand spectacle. Glimmer. Level 70. Nice. Ooh, they're both super effective. Good thing I have Earthquake. May you shine brightly, as brightly as the future of Paldea, Glamora. Hopefully that doesn't mean that it's going... Oh, actually. Do Electric Terrestrialize. That would be great. Electric. No. Rock type. Hmm. That could be bad. That may render this mostly useless. Nope, never mind. It's super effective. I don't care. Your toxic Debris is not going to get me. I win. I win. I win absolutely everything. <laughs> Excuse me. Listen to that fanfare. The future of Paldea is bright indeed. I didn't see how much money I got. Uh, unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament, and thus the strongest trainer in the whole academy, is Champion Levi! I mean, I mean, Nimona said I couldn't lose, so I had to. I had no choice. There was no other outcome. I watched 13 million different uh, futures, and, and this was the only one where I win. Or something like that. I don't know what the exact phrasing was from that uh, show. Woo! It's always fun to have friends cheering for me. Levi, you did it! You did it! Levi, 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 Levi! Woo! Levi's so awesome! Okay, I may have added that in there. <laughs> I would like to extend my thanks to everyone who made this extraordinary tournament possible. Each and every trainer demonstrated beautifully the bond they share with their Pokemon. I couldn't take my eyes off any of the matches. And leading the way into the future while valuing our individuality. And that is our motto at Uva Academy. And the tournament truly lived up to our ideals. Now I'm aware my speeches tend to get a little shall we say, overlong, so I'll wrap it up there. I now turn the floor over to our special guest, Chairwoman Gita. The friendly rivalry... rough words. The friendly rivalry of the trainers, the cheering and encouragement from the crowd. I feel like these are the perfect ingredients for the Academy. No. For the whole Paldea region to become more lively and energized. Champion Levi was far stronger today than when he took the Pokemon League's final test. Yay! It is clear that he strives to become better every day, even after reaching such an esteemed rank. It is my sincere hope that all Paldea's people will be inspired not just by him, but by every trainer gathered here who aimed for new heights. And that the seeds for many more future champions will be sown. I eagerly await news of all your achievements. Thank you, Chairwoman Gita. Now, alas, it is time for this wonderful tournament to come to an end. But! This event seems to me to be a wonderful way to build rapport between faculty and students and invigorate the wider community beyond our walls. So, I hereby declare that the Academy Ace Tournament will not end as a one-time event, and will continue to be held regularly. Yes! It's awesome. Woo! Awesome! Director Clavel, you're the best! Woo! And maybe I'll join next time, too. Oh my gosh, yes! This is everything I wanted! I do hope you'll participate next time, Miss Nimona. 
Absolutely. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Well, dear students and staff, that wraps up our very first Academy Ace Tournament. Thank you again for joining us here today, and I hope you, you are all excited for the next one. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> Levi, you did it! Congratulations on winning it all! I'm so happy. It almost made me forget the pain of everyone using Arvin's stupid school battle brawl name. Oh yeah, here's your prize. You got the sporty cap, Pokemon Lee. Director Clavel told me he got caught up in all the excitement and forgot to give it to you. So I guess you get the strongest in the school throne for now, Levi. Keep it warm for me. I'm going to be in the tournament next time, and I'll be coming right for you. Whenever you feel like entering the tournament again, just talk to the staffer at the front desk. You know, Levi. Yes. I've relished every day since you moved here to Paldea and became my rival. I'm so glad I met you. I mean it. Yay. There's lots of great thumbnail opportunities here. Me too. I mean it. <laughs> Come on. Don't make me blush. <laughs> anyway, I'll be seeing you on the battle court for a good long time to come. Rotototototo. Hello, hello, Levi. This is Jack. Congratulations on winning the Academy Ace Tournament. I sure am proud to have one of my students become the Academy's Ace. Ahem, Mr. Jack. Ah, don't worry, Director Clavel. I'll get to the point now. I'm actually calling to tell you that highly difficult terror raids are cropping up all over the place. Yes! We're getting report after report from Academy students about their Pokemon getting injured. We teachers have split up to investigate these raids, but we're still a bit short-handed. So we were wondering if we could enlist your help, since you're the Academy's ace and all. <laughs> you're the best person in all of Paldea. We need your help. How about it, Levi? If I can find the time. Leave it to me. Woohoo! Thank you! Your Pokedex automatically records the data we need as you go, so don't worry about that. For now, I'd like you to just take on a lot of these tough Terra Raid battles. But don't get in over your head. Even the Academy's Ace needs to be careful. I sure would be sad if one of my precious students got injured. Anyway, we're counting on you. Sweet. Awesome. Look at the prize money showing up in the corner. Glad I actually got paid for that. <laughs> okay. Um, I... Oops. Well, I was hoping to see some of those raids, but uh, don't see any. Maybe I have to go outside first for them to show up. Okay, we're out here. Check the map. There's an island I probably need to go out and investigate. And this is probably the DLC region.
Yeah, I'm not seeing any there. It may have to cycle through another day for it to load. Anyway, that brings us to time on this episode. So we had a fantastic day. We made it through the Ace Tournament, which was phenomenal. And uh, we won. Everything. So we're not done playing this game yet, but... Uh, we made some really phenomenal progress. I'm looking forward to doing some of the raids. Um, we'll have to see about getting some battle-ready Pokemon set up. I hear Claude Sire is a pretty decent one for uh, one of the, the, the five-star, I think, raids that's out. It might be a Pikachu. I'm not sure which it was. I think it's Pikachu. Um, anyway, so that'll wrap it up for this episode. For those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedlyrandom. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you drop a follow while you're over there on Twitch so we can send you a notification when we go live. Um, after you followed us over there, jump on over to our Instagram and Facebook pages where a follow will help keep you informed anytime there's a change to the streaming schedule. We also have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That would be wonderful and fantastic. And if you're enjoying the content and um, wish to see more of it, make sure you like and subscribe there on YouTube. That'll help the uh, wonderful YouTube algorithm send you more content like this, as well as additional videos from our channel that, uh, hey, you might enjoy as well. Other than that, that is everything I have for you guys today. And if I can get this set, um, yeah, that's all I've got. So until next time, stay random. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate it.